Hi, we're live. Got an echo. All right. Hi, Candace. Hi, Melissa. Okay. <clears throat> this should be better. I had to turn the computer on mute. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Nancy. Welcome. Welcome to episode five of Smash Your Crafty Stash. Thank you, Melissa. I got all dressed up just for you. <laughs> Hi, Jonna. Hi, Melanie. Happy Friday. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Gloria. Hey, Chow. Hi, Meg. Hi, Susan. Hi, Sandy. Welcome, everybody. I'm so glad that you're here tonight. We're going to have a good time as usual. Um, hi, Stephanie. Well, we're going to have a good time as usual. Um, we're going to do um, something fun tonight. We're going to bring in a mystery guest. But first, I wanted to know if any of you could guess who my mystery guest might be. Hi, Emily. Hi, Hi Vicki. So hi, Cheryl. My mystery guest is waiting in the wings to be brought in to the smash party. Hi, Michelle. So Abraham, you think it's Abraham? Any other guesses? Mar Maria? Okay, so Abraham, I'm going to write this down for maybe some future ideas. <laughs> you guys are so resourceful. Simon, Corey. A hint. Stacy, Stacy's already been on. Okay, so we've done um, a couple of these already. My first guest was Nancy because, you know, she's my partner in crime. So she was my first guest. Then Stacy, and lo and behold, at Stacy's house was Renee. So I was so excited. My second episode was Stacy and Renee. My third episode was Chow where we played with the pan pastels. That was a lot of fun. My fourth episode was T and uh, she kicked, you know, she, she kicked butt as usual. So T has already done it. If you missed that episode, that was episode four. Lisa from Local King. Now you guys are doing some really good job guessing. And um, I'm going to bring our mystery guest in in a minute. But I think some of you may have guessed who this might be. And just so you know, in the future, I might ask you to be my mystery guest. So hopefully through Smash Your Crafty Stash, we'll be able to pull in some of these people who are members of the FSC that maybe we've never seen before. Uh, maybe we've seen their cards or their videos or their hands down uh, doing work, but we've never actually seen them on our um, interacting with us live. So you all might get the opportunity to be my mystery guest in the future. If you have any volunteers, let me know. You can send me a private message and we'll work it out. I already have somebody lined up for next month, but I am certainly looking for help in May, June, July, and all the months moving forward. Yeah. Yep. We had a good time with T. Hi, Carla. Welcome. All right. So without further ado, hi, Jim. Did I say hi to Sherry D? I'm not sure if I did or not. Hi, Michelle KS. Hopefully I caught all of you. You guys were flying in there fast and furious. I appreciate that. Uh -huh. Okay, so some of you would do it. Hi, Michelle. How's it going in Pittsburgh? Okay, here we go. Here it goes, the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> this is so exciting. I need a drum roll. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull in our mystery guest. Mystery guest is waiting for me to figure out the technology. 
I'll figure it out. Here comes mystery guest. Mystery guest, welcome. <laughs> Mr. Guest is joining. Yeah, talk about drum roll, right? <laughs> All right, let me go to gallery view. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, Michelle, that's right. You're active with the Girl Scouts. You'll be selling Girl Scout cookies. Uh, while we're waiting for the mystery guest to connect, um, we're going to uh, talk about our plans for the weekend. Hi, Frida. And by the way, everybody, thank you all for sending me so many lovely birthday cards. My plan is to do an opening of all those birthday cards, but it's just been a little bit hectic around here for me to be able to do that. Let me check on my mystery guest to make sure this person is okay. One moment, please. Oh. Well, mystery guest, at this point, we, I can see your name. Uh, however, it says your camera is turned off and you don't have any sound. If you can see, if you can say something, mystery guest, that we know that you're here. Yes, Cynthia, it's all about the technology. We did practice. Yes, everybody, please thumbs up. Okay, she, oh, I said she, so now you know it's a she. She's trying to connect to the audio right now. It, it did get a bit squirrely. Mm -hmm, you're right. Okay, mystery guest. It still says camera off and it doesn't show that you have any audio. Mystery guest, if you need to leave and come back, that might be an option as well so that we can get the technology to cooperate. Ooh, Candace, you're styling, girl. Candace, is your craft room ready for me to come see it? Is it ready? Is it ready for a visit from Tracy? And we can do a live in your craft room, Candace. Can we do that, please? <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, Candace moved here recently and we have yet to meet. When I say here, she's about, well, 35 miles from me. And I'm so excited to meet her face to face. That's going to be wonderful. Oh, 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 there. Yay. <laughs> I see our mystery guest. Do you see our mystery guest, friends? We'll wait for the lag to catch up. One thing about this, there's a little bit of a lag. <gasps> okay, I can't wait to see what their reaction is. Can you say some? Oh, we can't hear you. <laughs> It's Meg. Yes, Gloria. It's Meg. How exciting. We just can't hear you, Meg, for some reason. I don't know if your phone is on mute. I'm not sure. <laughs> She's waving. She's excited that she to be here. We're so excited to have her. Hi, Shay. <laughs> I think she's trying to reconnect again. All right, let me show you something styling. Did you guys see this beautiful mug before that uh, Erica created for me? I've been drinking a lot more water lately. I filled this up twice a day, maybe three times a day. All right, Meg, can you say something? Let's see if we can hear you. still can't hear you. Hmm. That's really strange. Uh, I don't think I have you on mute. Let's see here. Nope. Try again. 
Can you all hear her? I know we can see her, but can anybody hear Meg? Maybe it's my phone. Let me see here. Turn on the sound. Okay. I have silent mode turned off. She's trying. She's going to come back. Don't worry. She'll be back. Okay. My, my phone is so crooked. <laughs> okay. So, all right, child. Thank you. I was just checking because I knew that I couldn't hear her. But I thought maybe that was just me. She's going to try to come back. So if you just hold on one second, folks, she is going to try and come back in and get her sound working. Hi, Donna. Yes, um, it says Nancy Stamps because she um, is the registered user of the um, Zoom account. So uh, Meg, if you see Nancy's name on there, that's just the reason why. Uh, I still can't hear you. Can anybody hear? Hi, Tara. Can anybody hear? It's connecting to audio. Let's give it a second, okay? It says connecting. Oh, you're on mute. Your, fo your phone, if you, look at the, if you look at the top of your phone, there's a little button. You unmuted it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did I do it? Yay! <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Here. Hi, Tara. That took a while. So sorry. Let's give it a second, okay? Turn my volume down because I have an echo. Hold on a second. Okay. Meg, um, do you have your phone volume turned up and your computer volume turned up? My phone volume should be up. Let me see. I hear an echo. That's why we might have to have you turn down one of your um, devices. Oh, 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 I see. It's my computer. Okay. Let me. Yeah. I normally put my computers on mute and just listen to my sound out of my phone. There. Are we better? Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Hi, no, Meg. So sorry. First time. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry for messing things up. <laughs> you didn't mess anything up. It's awesome to have you. I'm so excited that you're here and everybody's excited to see you. I'm so glad to be here. And thank you so much, Tracy, for asking me. <laughs> well, so you know, Meg, it's, you're welcome. It's been a while that we've wanted to collaborate together. And I thought this would be a perfect time to do that. And Hopefully yes. we'll do, do it more in the future. So what are you thinking right now about this first time on YouTube? Oh my goodness. I'm thinking, what am I doing? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully it finally worked out and I'm here and I'm so, so happy to be with y'all. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So Meg, what do you think about Smash Your Crafty Stash? I know you've pretty much watched them as, as they've been, you know, on YouTube. I know you've been a person watching and chatting. I, I love Smash Your Crafty Stash. It is so fun. It's such a great premise. Um, mm -hmm. A little nerve wracking on this end, but <laughs> yeah, it's so fun yeah. to watch, see what everybody creates with what they have on hand. Yeah. Try to find just something different that we could use that we might not use every day um, and, and hopefully have the people crafting along with us. Um, yeah. So this is what happens. I know Meg's familiar, but I'll tell everybody else that's watching. So we've been putting in these little pink envelopes, ideas of things that we could work with as a way to try to smash our stash. We don't know what's in these envelopes. I created them, you know, six months ago, and I don't remember what's in any of them. Um, and so we're down to four because we've been pulling them. So what we'll do is we'll pull an envelope. And whatever the envelope says, that's what we have to create with. So for example, when Chow and I did it, we had pan pastels, ribbon and washi tape or something like that. So sometimes they're kind of little odd oddities that you wouldn't think of putting together, but that's the fun about it, right? Everybody's so excited. They're saying, yay, you did it. Hi, Susie. 
Everybody's super excited to see you, Meg. <laughs> All right. Yay! They were guess they were guessing, and some of them did guess it was you. <laughs> they did. I'm surprised at that. <laughs> I don't know how they knew. I don't know. Maybe they remember we tried one time before on Facebook and we weren't able to get Facebook to do it. But this is working pretty good, right? I think I've got it down now. Yay. Yep, we can hear you. So Meg, tell us, where do you live? I live in Morris, Michigan. It's a little uh, farming town in lower middle Michigan. So, um, okay. I don't know. And don't know what to say. I'm here with my husband and my two basset hounds and oh. having fun hanging out, crafting. <laughs> nice. Now, do you work um, outside of crafting? I just retired recently, so no work for me. I'm so excited to be able to play now. That's great. I'm happy for you. I can't wait for that day to come because I think about making cards all day long while I'm on my Zoom meetings. Oh, yeah. Um, Thank also, you. go ahead. No, I was going to say, hopefully you can get there soon. <laughs> yeah, hopefully my husband will retire soon and then someday I will too. Hey, do you, um, did you, have you been making cards for a long time? Um, no, not really. Off and on, maybe. I was Stampin' Up! Demonstrator maybe, oh, mm, quite a while back, I guess, for a short period of time and decided that wasn't for me. And then I just went on to my other art things. I do like to do a lot of different kinds of art. Uh -huh. And uh, so I just recently came back to cards. Mm maybe last year during COVID. Okay. Okay. And, Cause that's when I, um, kind of late end of COVID I retired. And so I said, Oh, what do I want to do? Well, let's get doing some cards cause they're quick and easy. And yes, that's right. Yeah. Cindy Decker says, congratulations on your retirement. Abraham has joined us. Hi, Christine Mack. So we've got a lot of folks watching us. My thing says 51. I don't know how many are truly there. Um, Meg, I wanted to ask you, have you always been artistic all your life? Did, were you drawn to artsy type things all your life? I have drawn all my life. My mom inspired me when I was a kid. She, um, up on our um, nursery room walls, she did like the three little bears and Goldilocks um, pastel yeah. on our walls. And so I grew up with art around me and I just, yeah, I just always have loved art. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, it definitely shows with you and your work. Um, so I know you're on the design team for Fairy Stamper. They're super, super blessed to have you. Uh, your oh. cards are beautiful and very imaginative. Um, where do you get your inspiration from? Thank you. Um, I have always loved fantasy. I think it's from reading all those books as a kid, you know, little little story books and stuff like that. And then, of course, Lord of the Rings and stuff from from that. I've loved dragons for forever. So when fairy hugs came out, I'm like, oh yes, that and Lavinia. I love Lavinia. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So I was excited when Fairy Stamper had their. Um, drive and they asked me to be on the team and I'm like yes uh, you're doing a great job for them they're they're blessed to have you <laughs> thank you so much they were blessed to have you guys too and uh I don't yeah. know why you guys left but oh I enjoyed it it just I have to prioritize my time right now figure out which one I pick over another one um but it's a nice spot to be in where you can pick and choose <laughs> Um, but I did have fun with it. I have a whole box full of their stamps. I think they're really cool, you know. Um, are you on any other design teams? Yes, I am now on a Passionate Paper Creations and Friends design team. And they do many different companies. And uh, so every, every maybe four or five times a month, they have a different company that uh, sponsors them. And we do... Um, cards for those sponsors and then post okay. them. And is that a blog or is that a Facebook site or a, a t YouTube or? Passionate Paper Creation and Friends is a Facebook site. And okay. then it leads to um, all the other small companies, uh, blogs and, and their Facebook sites as well. 
we posted okay both of, both of them all right because i thought i saw you posting on t's facebook page not afraid of color i thought i saw you posting some other things for another design team and i wasn't familiar with that design team so that's really cool i do and i think thank t so much for letting me post some stuff on there because i don't know how to do a blog yet so I can't do okay. my own. So it's nice that she lets me do hers. Great. That's awesome. I know you've also participated in the Mod Squad Challenge in the past as well. And I want to put a plug in for the Mod Squad Challenge. Um, let me grab my little tag here before I All forget. Right. If I don't do it now, I'll forget. So the theme is anything but a card. Let me turn this light off here. Oh, that's the back. Whoops. <laughs> This is my beautiful tag. Don't you love it? It's gorgeous. It's a good start. <laughs> yeah. So this is my cute little bunny. You guys, does that bunny not look real? I have no clue how Maria does it with these kitchen sink stamps. She does an amazing job of making these stamps look so realistic. But Mod Squad Challenge, the um, theme is anything but a card. And I think there's only like 10 people that have entered and we're picking a winner on Tuesday. So if you would like the chance to win a $25 gift card from Kitchen Sink Stamps, make anything but a card and post it over on Mod Squad Challenge this weekend so that you have the chance. So I hope you guys will take advantage of that. Come on, join in guys. Go to Mod Squad Challenge and join. <laughs> Thanks, Meg. Yeah. You know, when you only have a few people entered, that increases your chance to be the winner of the $25 gift card that's chosen at random. And then three other cards are picked by me to be like the top three. So that's always fun. So I think that's all the questions I wanted to ask. What questions do you have? Anything? Oh, my goodness. How do you find time to do all this fun stuff? <laughs> Well, I have a very stressful job during the day. It's not physical stress, but it's a lot of mental stress. And, and it does cause me a bit of anxiety because the pressure is so strong on me. Um, I love my job. I love everything about it. I'm not complaining. I don't want to quit my job. But at the end of the day, it's like I have to do something different, like a completely different track. And so I just... I just spend my evenings making cards. I really don't have a life besides that. So. <laughs> it's my, that's my life. I just make cards and make, make a post on social media. That's my life, but I do enjoy it. It's, you know, like, it's like a second job to me, but not a job in a way that you hate it. Like it, I take it seriously. Like I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I follow through on all my commitments that I have. Hi, Leanne from Australia. All right. Okay. So now comes the fun part. We're going to go hands down. And Meg, if you remember, we, we had practiced this where we switched our cameras from front facing to back facing. And then we put our cameras in our um, po poles or whatever. So let's do that. Bear with us, folks, as we switch a roo here. Close your eyes so you don't get dizzy. Hi, Gila. All right. I'm tilted. I'm always tilted. Going the wrong way. Let me get my camera adjusted here. Come on. That's pretty good. All right, let me make sure it's on gallery view. Very good. Uh, okay, can everybody see our desks? And Meg has a rig and the way her camera is rigged, her, her view might be in a different direction than mine, okay? So that's all right. Am We're going to go down? with it. No, you are not upside down. You're, you're just I'm sideways. sideways aren't I? Yeah, that's okay. I mean, if it's going to be that way, that's the way it's going to. Oh, look, there she goes. She's fixing it. No, nope, can't do it. Okay. All 
All right. Did I lose you, Tracy? I'm still here. I just was taking a drink. I'm really thirsty. Okay. Uh, so oh everybody goodness, can see. I... Sorry, couldn't hear you. Okay. How about now? Now I can hear you. Okay. Am I crooked sideways or crooked or what am I? So you're facing like sideways. Now you are in landscape view, but yes. um, it's it's sideways. That's the only difference um, the, between your desk and mine. Is that Which, okay? If you're if you're gonna if you're gonna go that way, that's fine. It's okay with me. Um, I know that with your rig, the way you turn it, there's only certain things you can do with it, right? Right. Yeah. Let me see if I can do a little bit of something. Am I upside down? Yeah, but yeah. that that's, but you're not sideways not anymore. Sideways. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Hmm. That, that that's fine with me. Uh, like I said I'm I just would prefer that you you know, be in, in a direct, at least you're in the view. People can see what you're doing. That's the most important thing. So why don't we go with it? Okay. Okay. Thanks. So, yeah, I mean, she's upside down guys, but her, her view is now landscape. So her only option is upside down landscape or sideways portrait because of her rig her camera rig will only allow it to be turned in certain directions. So that's the difference. And um, um, we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. All right. So we have four cards here to choose from. Not many, we're getting down to the very end of the line, right? Um, Abraham, if she turns it the other direction, her phone will fall out of the rig. So she has a different kind of rig than the way it's positioned is that's the only way she can turn it. She only has so many options, right, Meg? Yes, that, that is true. Yeah, because we practiced this the other day and every time she, she got it turned to be the right way, like the right way, I'm saying that with quotes, that's whenever your phone wanted to fall out. So um, I'd rather have your phone in the holder um, even if it is turned in the other direction, then to not be able to do it at all, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, so it's your choice to pick a number. Let me tell you which envelopes are which. So we've got, uh, are, you, are you able to see the, what I'm doing? Um, I can see most of your table, yes. Okay, good. All right, so I'm just gonna put these in an order, one through four, all right? One, two, three, four. And then you pick a number. I think let's go with four, please. Okay, here we go. Number four. Let's put these other ones aside. Number four it is. Let's see what we have in this envelope. Now we are feeling a little bit anxious. I know I always feel anxious. I just never know what to expect. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh no, Brad's. Uh, gelatos or distressed crayons and stencils. Okay. So my first question is, do you have gelatos or distressed crayons? I do not. I have the Stampin' Up watercolor crayons. Okay. Yeah, I think those are like gelatos because they're, they're a crayon, right? So yeah. And yep. do you have, do you have stencils? Yes. Yes, I do have stencils. Lots of stencils. Okay. Do you have brads? I do not have brads. I have a paper clip. <laughs> okay. Paper clip. It's funny because, hi, Tana. It's funny because when we first started doing this, everybody wanted to see us do something with brads which I never do anything with Brad's on my cards. Like that's the well, last I, thing I ever put on my card. I do have a lot of Brad's, but they are out in my garage being, they are stored in my garage. So I don't have anything in here. I don't think, 
Let me check one box. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Frida, I did get your card. Thank you very much. I, I want to say thank you to everybody for the birthday cards. Um, that was so sweet of you all to send me them. And also some little gifts. I really appreciate everything. Well, Carla, uh, what do you do with a Brad? That is like, to me, that's the most challenging thing. And I'm going to have to get my son to come into my craft room to help me get my box down that has Brad's in it. So we will wait for that. Hey, Erica, guess what? I'm drinking out of the mug you got me. I'm drinking out of the big mug. Isn't that awesome? Hi, Patty. It's okay. We're just getting started. We're gathering our supplies together. And uh, Meg went to grab her supplies and then I'll grab my supplies. And the challenge is to use gelatos or distress crayons or some type of medium such as that, stencils and brads. Yep, Erica, it's great. And Erica, I gave one to my mom and she loves it. So nice, nice of you to make those for us. All right, I'm going to grab my distressed crayons and gelatos. They are in a drawer here in my craft room. And this is where all of you should be grabbing yours as well. So you can play along with us. Oh yeah, vellum and brads. That sounds nice. Yeah. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Pam. Gloria has a good idea. Use brads to put flowers together. Like if you die cut flowers, that's a good idea. Okay, let me find mine. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't use them that often, so I don't know how handy they are. Oops. Hey, Meg, tell me when you're back, okay? I'm back, but I don't have any breads. I do okay. have some of these clips, if we can, if I can get away with that. Okay. And I have my right. Stampin' Up watercolor crayons. Well, you're doing really good. I can't even find my gelatos on my distressed crayons. I'm in trouble here. I'll find them. It'll just take me a minute, okay? <laughs> sure. And what? What other thing did we have to do? Um, stencil. A stencil. Stencils, that's right. Yeah. A stencil. Lots of stencils. I'm going to grab my stencils. And look in my cupboard for my crayons. Nancy, when you came to my house and helped me organize my craft room, where did we put the distress crayons? And gelatos. I know, I have a whole box of them. That's the mystery. Meg. Yes. Are you at your desk? I am. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go to my other craft room and grab my uh, gelato. So if you want to talk while I'm gone, um, if you, if you see the um, chat, you can say hi to people. And I see Lynn Leonard just jumped on. I'll be right back. Okay. My chat disappeared. So you guys are going to have to uh, talk okay. to yourselves for a while, but okay. I have a couple of, uh, I have a couple of stencils here if anybody wants to vote on them and then Tracy can tell me what you decide. <laughs> okay. 
maybe I can use them all. I hope you guys are having a good time tonight. I hope we put on a good show for you tonight. I can see that I need to get my uh, workspace in order here. <laughs> get some paper too. So a little poll, do we like hearts, butterflies, or abstract? Oh, I also have dragonflies. Looks like Tracy has quite a few good stencils on her table too. Jacob, can you help me read something, huh? I'm not on camera, okay? Okay, I'm back. Here. Hello. All right. Sorry about that. Oh, no problem from me. Okay. I asked them if they like hearts, hearts, okay, butterflies, let me... or dragonflies. All right, so we're voting, right? Okay, looks like butterflies is getting more votes. You guys, can you decide whether you want dragonflies or butterflies? See that little one with the little drawers? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then I'm gonna describe what I have on my desk while I uh, pull my zoom up a little bit here. Okay. So I have this set of gelatos, I will hold up a Brad, that's a great idea. I have this beautiful set of gelatos, I hardly ever use them. They're so pretty, love them. And then I have another set, a mixed media set of gelatos. This looks like it has pastes and different things in it, glaze. Um, we'll save that for another time. That's not what we're looking for today. And then I'll tell you, my friend from Florida, um, now she lives in South Carolina, but when she lived in Florida, she was cleaning out her house and she sent me this really cute box. And inside the box are all kinds of um, little brads and stuff. So let me open up the drawer. You guys look at all this. It's just like a little cornucopia, isn't it? So this little container, has a bunch of brads in it. I'll hold it up to my camera here. It's just precious. Look at those little brads. See those little brads? So cute. They kind of remind you of a yeah, they kind of remind you of a pin, right? But they have little um, legs in the back that you can open. That's a brad. Okay. And this little this little box is just like a treasure trove. I'm probably end up using it today and send a card to my friend. It even has little, oh my gosh, you guys. It even has little, um, like little buckles that say words like dream and laugh. Um, that is so adorable. It's got these little tiny cards. They're so tiny, They're so cute. Super cute. Take and a there's drink. even a bag. Yeah, drink. <laughs> Okay, so this is, like I said, this is a gift from my friend. Even has some ribbon in there. So I'm going to probably put that to good use. All right. So sorry I got distracted. Let's see if they like butterflies or dragonflies. Hi, Star Patrick. Who's going to be in Columbus at the scrapbook show? I didn't see who you said it was. All right, I'm going to see dragonfly. Dragonflies actually looks like they have more than butterflies. Okay, so I looks, it looks like dragonflies. All right, we can do okay. that. Yeah. Oh, the ton is going to be at the Columbus scrapbook show. That's awesome. Well, um, Star, you'll have to make sure you go and meet... Effie in person. She's so sweet. 
Okay. All right, I'm gonna get some watercolor paper. What are, what kind of paper are you gonna use? Mine is um, the Hammer Mill 100 pound. Okay. Cause that's what I have on hand. <laughs> yep. You can, you, whatever you, whatever you want, you, you, you just go ahead and get whatever you need, okay? Yep, I was playing with some uh, backgrounds today. So I'm pulling a couple of those out and we'll see what I go from there. Okay. I must say, I've never used gelatos with stencils before. That's an odd combination, but. That is, I think it's, we're going to have to make them wet and then put them on through the stencil. Yeah, and I'm wondering if I don't do a two-step process where I make oh, my. Guess I'm what? sorry, go ahead. What's that? We can do a jelly plate. Oh, we could? How? Because we can make the um, stencils and the gelato work on the jelly plate. I never thought of that. Well, if you help me, I'll do it. We should try that. I've never, I've never tried that before. It's just like using your watercolor inks or. Okay. Let me get my jelly plate out. Okay. And I need to get my glass mat out so my jelly plate. Oh, I'm going to be using a lot of wet stuff. So, yeah. Excited that Candace got her new glass board mat. I can't wait to see that. I ordered one too. It's shipped, but it's not here yet. Sorry, guys. It's hard to keep up with the chat whenever we're trying to grab all of our supplies. <laughs> Hi, Debbie Wilson. Yes, yeah, Star, you'll get to meet her. Just go right up and talk to her. She's she's very um, outgoing. Okay, Jesse B, thank you, said, if you do gelato backgrounds, you can lay a stencil down, then lift color with a damp paper towel or a baby wipe. So put the gelato down first and then the stencil and then lift the color off? Yeah, it sounds like it. We'll try it, right? Yeah, I don't know if mine's going to work the same way or not, but we will see. So I have some accent opaque 120 pound paper. I think I'll just use that. It's heavy enough to withstand a little bit of water. All right, I'm gonna grab my distress sprayer. Okay, some gelato colors we're gonna get out. I'm gonna use some blues and pinks and purples. Of course, purple. Of course. <laughs> This set is so beautiful just to look at the way it's packaged and everything. It's eye candy. Okay. There's a light purple. There's a light blue. I can get it out of the case. Jesse B said, yes, Meg, whatever you described, that's exactly how she envisioned it. I'm going to grab a pink and an orange and a yellow. Okay. My uh, crayons aren't as, as smooshy as gelatos are, but maybe it'll work. Uh-huh. Okay. So you're just smashing them down on the gel plate, right? That's what I'm doing. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, I'm going to follow your lead. Okay. This is exciting, trying something new together, right? It is. <laughs> oh my gosh, my phone is so crooked. Hold on. Okay. All right, everybody can see my gel plate, right? Let's see. Okay, Cynthia says she has a glass board. I can't wait to get mine, tell you the truth. 
my gelatos are kind of dry, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to scrub them. Go ahead. Maybe you can add some water. I had to add water to mine. I put a little water down on my table and scrubbed my crayons through it. Okay. I see. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's working. Thank you. I think I need like a little palette or something to grab some of that and put it up here. Well, that kind of did a something anyway. Okay. Gloria said she did try gelatos, but she wasn't a fan. She's tried them though. I've only tried them directly to paper. Like I've kind of got them creamy and then just rubbed them against the paper, you know? I like that background. I wonder if we I could missed just... it. I had a first pull. Okay. And a second pull. So did you put the stencil on top and then pull the paper or how did you do it? I put the crayon down and then the stencil and then I did a first pull and then I took yeah. the stencil off and I did a second pull. Once okay, the stencil got it. Was up. I'm having trouble getting my gelatos to spread around on my gel plate. They're like, I don't know, like maybe I need to make my gel plate wet. Maybe I don't know. Too much water and it won't work either, but uh okay. Whoops, lost my light. Seriously, this is uh I like what's on my glass mat, the way they look, but not on the gel plate. It's not really giving me a good result at all. I feel like I feel like it's just doing nothing. I'm gonna get um a little palette knife and scrape, scrape some gelato off the crayon. I feel Ooh. like I need to get more color down there. Yes, Frida, purple is the way to go. Got it. So you're using pastels? Is that the kind of crayons that you're using, like oil pastels? No, these are Stampin' Up! watercolor crayons. Okay, I might have something like that. Let's see. The gelatos are just too waxy. Like, they're not... These are kind of hard to do this way, too. So we may have to change our plans a little. Okay. <laughs> Because I don't know if this is really going to work too well on here. I have these uh, water-soluble wax pastels from Michael's. They might work. I'm getting a little bit more traction with these. Well, that did not work. <laughs> okay. So Jim said, use a paintbrush and apply it to your plate. Hmm, that's a good idea. I have a lot of pretty, I have a lot of pretty paint, like down here in my corner on my glass mat where I was smooshing everything, you know, like it's really pretty. I'm going to try that, Jim. Let me grab my paintbrush. So down here in the corners, I have my colorful. I'm just going to grab a watercolor brush. Oops, sorry. Moved y'all. Sorry about that. Oh, didn't hear it. I bumped my, bumped my uh, screen. I don't know where everybody went. <laughs> okay. They don't know where I went or something. Well, you're still there. So that's good.
I'm going to try direct through a stencil and see if we can do that. Just okay. Mm, no, it's not going through. Maybe if I get a watercolor brush after I put this on and scrub it through. Hmm, where's T? She would know the answer, huh? She would know how to use these. <laughs> we, like, just have to, we have to fuddle through. She would be like, this, this, and this. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm trying to smash some of this color down on this. This is a soft rubber spatula. That did not work either. <laughs> hmm. This is sure a true test for us though, huh? It is, yeah. All right, I'm going to put a stencil on top of this mess that I've made. Well, you see any here. suggestions coming in from our crew? <laughs> um, let's see here. Yeah, Jim, Jesse B said, try lightly misting your gelato on your glass mat before adding it to your plate. Jim said, wet a paintbrush and apply it to your plate. I did do the first one, but it didn't have a very good coverage. So I'll try the water brush method. Okay. And apply it I've got an room. abstract background pretty much it looks just like a bunch of pretty blues and purples together you can't really see the stencil very well right that's what I'm having yeah. trouble with the stencil matching the stencil with the gelato is not working but we don't have to do them both together no 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 we don't have to do them together uh-uh so we could do something different and do it just do a se separate stencil my glass mat is just sliding everywhere. All right, <laughs> let's let's try to do some watercolor on this. I think I'm going to try one with bigger holes and see if that helps. Okay, um, Nancy says, scribble it on the glass mat, use a wet brush to pick it up. Somebody else said, um, let me see here. Mix the gelato into white acrylic paint and use a roller. Oh, once it's on here, I might be able to roll it. Um, maybe don't use the gel plate and use just the glass plate. And then someone said, I've seen someone use a baby wipe with gelatos. I can't remember how to do that. Like you're talking about using the baby wipe as a paintbrush. Is that what you're thinking, uh, Cynthia? I'm going to smash some more of these gelatos down on my glass mat. See if I can't do some water coloring with it. I don't know where my distressed crayons are. I don't know where I put them. I know they're here somewhere. Well, I tried to brayer it on and it's not, it's too wet to brayer or too dry to move. So let's try yeah. the last mat thing, like they said. I think I need to dry my plate off. So there definitely are some crafts in our stash that we do not use that often. Probably oh, because yeah. we probably because we try and it just doesn't go the way we expect it to go. So we're going to try to make it work though.
So Carla said, put the crayon on the wipe. Yeah, Nancy said, just color your paper with the gelato. Well, we were trying to do something different. We were trying to use gel plates. Yeah, I think Nancy is right. Okay. Well, I'll put my, I'll put my gel plate aside then. Uh, I put a little bit of water on it so I can clean it later. Isn't Nancy always right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually I just wet my finger and, and smear it. I have this little spatula here that I'm smearing it with. I'm going to do a little ink smooshing with mine. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Getting my finger dirty, getting in there and scrubbing it around. That's the best tool, right? Mm hmm. I'm going to grab a baby wipe because I want to get this cleaned off my finger. I think I need to add some pink to that. It's a little bit too blue. How's it going, Meg? Is that working for you? <laughs> well, I'm getting colors on my paper. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Happy Friday. All right. I'm going to smush a little bit here. I think the ink smush part is the best part. And then we can stencil later. Yeah. I have actually... With distressed crayons, I have actually applied them directly to the paper and then used a little water in my finger, just smush it around a little bit. I've done that before with distressed crayons. So that always looks nice. It gives you a nice background. You can use it like to, like instead of ink, you're blending your distressed crayons. Cool. Yeah. Jennifer, our guest is Meg. Are you familiar with Meg Brighter? How, is that how you say your last name, Brighter? Correct. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. I got a nice background. It's pretty cool because it has little, it's got little chunks of, uh, what's it called? Stress crayons in it. It kind of looks like a water background, like underwater. Yes. I like my background too, but it's a little yeah, wet. I like your background. That's nice. Thank you. Our, our backgrounds are almost the same exact color. Look at that. <laughs> they are oh my goodness we're off awesome. they match yes <laughs> i think i'm gonna have to dry all right are you mine. cleaning your desk up with... i think i are have you to dry your desk up with... i'm sorry go ahead i was saying i think i need to dry mine a little it's a little wet before i dry yeah, my too. stencil yeah all right Go ahead and use your heat gun. It'll it'll mute you so that it won't be loud for the people that are listening, okay? Okay, cool. Yep, I'm gonna use mine too. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. All 
Are you still drying your um, paper? Okay, Meg, can you hear me? Yep. Can you hear? Yes, right. I can. Can you hear me? Yeah. I, I was still yeah, drying. I thought sorry. We... Oh, sorry. I thought maybe we lost sound. No problem. I'm just cleaning get... my stencil. Yeah. Now I have a clean stencil and a piece of paper that I can use for my background. It has little chunks of uh, little chunks of uh, gelato stuck to the paper. I probably didn't smash them down enough. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be all right. Hey, it adds texture, right? Yes. All right. Are you ink blending already? You're way ahead of me. I'm so slow. You're not slow. You're careful. Yeah. All right. I'm going to grab my other. I'm going to grab my Wendy Becky Make Art Station because I can hold my stencil still that way. Awesome. This is, by the way, everybody, this is just a piece of oven um, mat from, I think, QVC or HSN. It's called Cook's Essentials. It's from T. She gave me a piece of it. It's very nice for holding things in place. And of course, this station makes it nice too, because it has magnets that can hold things down. How is your dragonfly looking? Good? We can peek. Can't tell yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to move it. All right, I need... do... Go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. I said I didn't want to move it because I want to uh, finish the stencil off. And if I move it, I'll yeah. lose. All right, I'm going to grab some of my dome foam blending tools and what colors of ink I want to try to layer on top of my gelatos. I'm using these cute little ones that you guys told us to get. Oh, they work so well. What was it again? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. The cute little blending brushes that you can get oh. through, through Nancy's Amazon. For your fingertip or all the little makeup ones. Yes. Cool. They were perfect. They're beautiful. What? Okay, I'm going to grab Pucker Up for my pink. And then I think I'll grab, let me see, there's a lot of purple there. I need some blue, I think. So Cumberbund, that's always a nice color. I'll gra grab that. And I am using Dusty Concord Distress Ink and Peacock Feathers Distress Ink. Oh, that sounds nice. Where's my cummerbund? Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. Peacock Feathers would be nice because it's got that teal to it, like, right? Yeah, and I like teal and purple together. Yeah, me too. And then I'll grab some of this uh, serenade. It's a light purple. All right, I'm going to start blending. All right. Um, yes, Cook's Essential Matte from QVC. That's where that came from. Yeah, this is the Big Mom stencil from Colorful Life Designs. And I'll have all the links down below after we're done with our live. It's really hard to load them ahead of time because I never know what we're going to use. So um, 
I'll tell you what stencil this is real quick. And do you know the name of your stencil by chance, Meg? Mine are from TCW. Right. And let me see. Mini Winged Exploration. Okay. That was, that's where my explore came from. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and the dragonfly, they're on the same stencil. So mini winged okay. exploration from TCW. Mine's called Mum Matt Stencil. And I have a coupon code that you all could use if you want to get it after you see what it looks like. Tracy Fan 10 is my coupon code. All right, so I'm just applying pucker up right now. I'm just going to layer these and blend them. See how this turns out. Next, we'll do cumber bun. Meg, they're saying they're really loving what you're doing. Beautiful, Meg. Loving it, Meg. So pretty, Meg. Thank you. Thank love you, that thank color. You. They're saying love that color combo, Meg. <laughs> Everybody likes it. Down it. A we'll do a little vignette on it. I have to get my little uh, helper from T to hold yes. my. <laughs> little piece of silicone or whatever yeah i have my little piece here too and this is a uh, color serenade it's a light purple from Catherine puller i think this is going to show some really cool texture once it's done actually yeah so the crayons and the gel it's much better as a background addition. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Okay, let's take a peek here, everybody. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna add some more pink because the pink really pops. Yeah, it does, it's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, Carla, I've purchased those mats too. They have these mats from Amazon. There's three in a pack. Nancy has them in her shop. Those are nice too to use. Yeah. But this Cook's Essential mat, there's something about it, the way it just grips everything. It's really cool. I did uh, order one of those mats, so I have it here. It's just that Tease is already cut down for me, so... <laughs> I know. I, I need to order one. That's on my list of things to do, but I've been so busy. I haven't had a chance to order one. I think I'm just going to use my mess up from earlier. Let's see if I can make a background out of that, uh, a frame out of that. Eh, not liking it. Let's try something else. This is that first pull I had. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's more of a better color, don't you think? Hold on a second. I got to get to the screen where I can see what you're doing. Hold on. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. That looks nice. There were matchy matchy with color again. I just added pink. <laughs> did you? I, did. I think I'm going to stop now because if I keep going, I might overdo it. So it's pretty um, abstract, but you can see the pattern in the background um, but you can definitely see the pink and the blue and the purples coming through not so much the teal that didn't come through as well because the pinks and the purples kind of overpowered it I think but I like it it's grungy it's not it's not my typical style but I like doing things that are different and then I'm gonna Somehow, maybe, I'm trying to think of how I can use a brad 
Oh my goodness. I, I'm going to have to use my clips because I don't have brads. Right, right. Clips are fine, yeah. I'm trying to think here. Um, I'm definitely going to use a deco trimmer to trim this down for sure. Give it some rough edges. Uh, all right, let me get my little box of goodies out here. Oh, I can put I could put one of these little signs on the front. They're heavy though. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Let me see. There's also buttons in here. There's a button. There's tags, ribbon. Uh, let's see these tags. These tags here. Oh, this is really cool. This tag is made of vellum, you guys. It's like a little square tag. It's made of vellum. Isn't that cool? It sounds beautiful. She sent me this box that was so sweet of her, and I, I haven't really used it yet. Oh, look. This one's green. This little tag is green. Oh, I like the round ones. This one that's purple. Did we lose okay, I only, I only see my desk. What happened to Meg's camera? Your Where camera's off, Meg. Yeah, your camera needs to be turned back on, please. There we go. What happened? <laughs> Sometimes if you bump it, you know. Oh. Yes, Carla, the whole box is a beautiful gift. I'm sitting here just looking through everything and trying to figure out what to do. Could definitely, I could definitely adhere one of these with a brad and maybe stamp a sentiment on it. Hmm. I don't know. Now I'm getting Whoops. stuck. Oh, and then it, it has these little little envelopes too. These little cute little envelopes. Isn't that adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to find something I can clip on. I'm going back to the little metal clip on things. This is a heart and I think there's a dragonfly. Let's see here. She's back. Hi, hi there, the creative Graham Graham. Welcome. I think there's a heart in here. There's a daisy. There's a tiny little dragonfly, fly, not fry, but fly. <laughs> uh, we keep losing you Meg I wonder why your camera doesn't want to stay on Meg are you able to turn your camera back on please yep I think I got it Oh, you're working on it? Okay, sorry. I think it's okay, back there's... on now. Yep, you're back on. Wow, this is really out of my comfort zone. I'm telling you right now. This would be a good one for tea. It would. I think I'll just use the little metal dragonfly. And one of those brads that were too colored. Oh, there's a blue one in here. That'll work. Now I need to find a sentiment. I think I have one that says adventure. I think that would look cute. Kind of go with your theme of explore. Yeah, we're going to be matchy matchy the whole way then, huh? I know, that's funny. <laughs> That is funny. I just got I just got a brat out and I lost it already. Oh my goodness. Maybe it didn't come out of the container. Let's try that again. 
Maybe I should get two for good measure, just in case. I'm going to stick them to my magnet, my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station magnet. That way they won't slide away. Oh, this ribbon is cool. Trying to clip my ribbon on with my clips, see if that'll. Oh my gosh, you're using ribbon too. Oh my goodness. Are we twins or what? <laughs> that is too funny. We're totally twins tonight. <laughs> Purple lovers unite. Oh, you're not able to see the chat, right? Meg, you can't see what people are saying, right? I cannot, no. Yeah, Nancy, she can't see the chat. I can only read it to her. My computer went out and I don't know why. So I lost you halfway or actually only a quarter way through. Yeah, it's frustrating. Technology is great when it works. <laughs> All right, so yeah. I've got this fuzzy ribbon that I'm going to use. This is probably the most textured card I've ever made. I got to get my deco trimmer out here and get this trimmed. Actually, with Oops. those clips, glue is not going to work. Sorry, I just, I just hit my camera with my hand. Sorry, guys. So, Meg, do you have any other plans for the weekend? Um. I have to go shopping tomorrow <laughs> for groceries or for groceries. Yeah. My battery on my car went out this week. So my husband oh. got, a, got a new one and he, I wasn't able to shop. So I have to go shopping for groceries. <laughs> yeah. How far do you have to travel to get to the grocery store? Well, I'm out in the boonies. So it takes about a half an hour to get to the store. I feel it. I feel what you're saying. I'm out in the boonies too, so I can relate. We do have a Walmart that's pretty close by, so we're fortunate for that. Walmart Supercenter. I'm going to go to Costco tomorrow, I think. Well, that'll be great. That should be fun. I've never, I think I've only been to a Costco once. I've been to Sam's Club, though. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, she does have it on do not disturb, Nancy. Nancy thinks maybe messages are coming through and that's what's shutting your phone off. Oh, well, I did bump it. So maybe you're right. Maybe it, it bumped too because I had to go get something. Okay, maybe that's what happened. I know before we got started, you did put it on Do Not Disturb. I did, yes. And I haven't heard any come through or seen any come through. So all these things you have to learn to be with Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always a couple extra steps whenever you're doing a live on uh, YouTube. Okay. It is fun though. I'm having a ball. Good. I'm glad you are. That's great. That's all that matters. I'm going to um, grab my sentiment real quick. I have a stamp of, I have a die that I want to use. If you guys could see my desk, the rest of my desk right now, you would just laugh out loud. I have crayons yeah. and papers and ink yep. all over. <laughs> it's like a craft NATO came through, right? Yes, I have a craft NATO. <laughs> I can relate. My whole craft room is a mess. I just don't have time to get it organized. Life is so busy right now. Well, so tomorrow, tomorrow my son is be working on his Eagle Scout project, everybody. Oh, um, the benches? Yep, the benches. They're going to start building them tomorrow. Awesome. So wish us luck with that. <laughs> good, good luck. 
he raised $215 through his GoFundMe um, account that he set up to try to get donations. So he's really pleased with that. Um, he's still accepting donations and I can always link the GoFundMe account in the description box. I want to say thank you to those who have already given money to Jacob for his project. That's greatly appreciated. Okay. Oh, Jim Eber says, I'm wondering if Meg should do a stamp wars with us. <laughs> I think you could do it for sure. Okay. Well, I can't find the word adventure, but I did find the word amazing. I thought I had adventure cut out in my little stash here. Sure, do have a lot of little bits and pieces. But the word adventure is what I'm looking for. I think I have to add a little bling to this. Yes, definitely. Well, can't find adventure. That just seems amazing. Yeah, so we're going to get up in the morning and go to Dunkin' Donuts and get two dozen donuts for the helpers that are going to be there helping to build the bench. How fun is that? pretty exciting i mean he's been working a long time to make this happen um you have to do plan everything yourself you have to you know go out and solicit donations at the hardware stores he he got a donation from a local hardware store that has wood and he got some like bolts and nails and stuff from Lowe's. so they were they were willing to donate too so that's great that is awesome so he, does he have other people coming in to help him put them together? Yep. He'll have other boys from the troop that will help him. And some of the uh, adult leaders from the troop will help him. Um, with Eagle Scout, you have to be the manager of the project. You're not supposed to be so hands-on. You know, you, you can you know, pick up a hammer and help. But the idea is to get other people to come and do service with you. That's the idea. Awesome. Well, it sounds like he's doing his job just fine. Yeah, he's, I'm really proud of him. He's, he's done a lot. He's done a lot of hard work to do this. And I told him, I said, you have to keep with it. You know, I want you to make sure you get this Eagle Scout. So don't quit. I told him he wasn't allowed to quit. I said, not this, this is too important. You know, you've spent so many years at summer camp and he went through the order of the arrow and he went to like an extra week for youth leadership. I mean, this boy has been through a lot for scouts and I mean, muddy camp sites, you know, disgusting weather, rain, heat, you know, boy scout summer camp is not luxurious at all. It's, it's very rustic. So you're, you're in a tent on a cot and that's it. You know, you don't have, any really protection from the weather if it should pour down rain or anything and that one that one camp he went to all week he had to bring his own tent and it rained every single day and it was nothing but mud he said he oh, never wow. saw so much mud in his life yeah well guys what do you think am i done well it looks really nice i'm still putting mine together <laughs> all right let me grab some glue so you've got your stencil, which says the word explore and had a dragonfly, right? Correct. Yeah. And then what else did you add? Is that glitter? Those are little gems. Okay. And I, instead of brads, I had to use a clip. So I clipped a ribbon on. Okay. You clipped your ribbon on. Okay, cool. And I used the uh, crayons in the background with an uh, like an ink smush, a crayon smush. 
Right, like, right. So that looks really good. I like it. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Carla. Carla said, use your pokey tool to put your brad through your paper. I was just pushing it through. All right, let's put these dragonflies on this card so we can get this done. If I was playing with Chow, she'd have three cards done by now. She's fast. She is quick. Yeah, she's quick, man. I don't know how she does it. Like, it just takes me a while for an idea to come together. I can't, I don't know, just, I guess that's just me. I just have to think about it a while before I put it together. All right, I'm going to put my sentiment on. Oh, maybe. Yeah, so I'll be getting the donuts in the morning and then I'll be getting the pizza in the afternoon for all these people that are coming to help, right? And it's supposed to snow here tomorrow. We're actually supposed to have whiteout conditions occasionally. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, the weather's going to be terrible. <laughs> I don't oh, think we're no. supposed to get any major accumulation, but... Just enough to be a, a nuisance. Are they calling for any snow in Michigan? I don't know, actually. I don't. I didn't check that out, so I'm not positive on that. All right, let me grab a card base so I can put mine together here. I'm just going to use a black card base. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. This is definitely not my style, but I love it. It's nice I for me to try to, to get out of my comfort zone for once in a while. <laughs> I'm going to glue this down. There we go. I just had these dragonflies in my stash. They're from Stampin' Up. You might, you might notice those, Meg. Um, oh, that's right. You can't see your screen. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh, lost me again. Oh, lost you again. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I think Meg's stencil is from the Crafter's Workshop. There we go. Yes, from the Crafters Workshop. Yeah, Erica, we're supposed to just get these like nuisance snow squalls, right? They're just supposed to pop up and like just be bothersome while you're driving, you know, so stupid. <laughs> I'm over it, right? I'm over it. Hold on a second, my little ribbon, I forgot to glue it down the back. I'll just glue it in the front here. All right, so I'm done with my card. I'll hold it up to the camera so you guys can see it. I use the um, gelatos smashed onto my gel plate first for my background. And then I stenciled using the mom matte stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. Then I grabbed some Catherine Puller ink and I went ahead and ink blended on top of that. And then for these dragonflies, I had these in my stash. They're from Stampin' Up. These are actually sprayed with shimmering bliss spray. So there's a lot of shimmer on them. There's two different colors of dragonflies. And then we, we were supposed to use a brad. So I had this little dragonfly with this little box of goodies I got from my friend, Sally. Thank you, Sally. That was so sweet of you to send that to me. And I put a brad through that little dragonfly. And then I put the word amazing across the top because I had an amazing time with Meg tonight. So I thought that was an appropriate word. Aww, so that was a lot of fun. Sweet. That was a lot of fun. I'm so glad you were able to come on here and hang out. And I hope everybody was um, nicely surprised that it was Meg. That was a lot <laughs> of fun. Thank you. So, so <laughs> what do you so think? Fun. Did you have a good time? 
I did. I had a, an awesome time. Thank you, Tracy, for playing with me. I, it's so much more fun when you can play with somebody. Yeah, I agree. It's just like, you know, hanging out with a friend and, and making something pretty. Um, everybody likes your card, Meg. They said it's beautiful. So good job. Aw, thanks, guys. Yeah. So everybody, I'm going to put the supplies in the description box. And Meg, can you tell me one more time? What was the name of that stencil? I'll write it down. I can look it up then. Okay. It was called Mini Winged Exploration. Many Winged Exploration? M-I-N-I. -I, mini. As oh, in mini. Small. Okay. Okay. Sorry. It's got a number. Do you want that? Sure. T-C-W-5-6-6-S. Okay, great. All right. I'll link that then. Okay. Sure. All right, everybody, don't forget to give a thumbs up and uh, thank you all for jumping on here tonight. It was so much fun hanging out with you, Meg. Um, I really you. appreciate, I really appreciate all your ideas and creativity. I had fun. Sorry, we didn't have uh, all the supplies, but uh, we made do. We did good. Yeah. And Meg, would you do me a favor and take a picture of your card and send it to me? That way I can put our cards side by side. I just can't get over how much we're using the same colors. It's really, it's uncanny. That is so funny. Yes, I will. Definitely. And thanks everybody who joined us tonight. Um, by the way, Meg, Erica said she loves your cards, especially the fairy cards. So there you go. Oh, thank you. I think All I right, everybody. I'm sorry. My picture just went blank. So I, I don't know. I'm going to have to. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll wrap it up then. You know, the joy of technology, right? The joy of Zoom. So <laughs> <laughs> have a great weekend, everybody. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.